G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. This video is just going to be a short one. I've had an idea about modifying or updating or doing a couple of things to the DD Frontline Hammock to make it a little bit easier to use and a little bit better for me personally to use it. So, I hope you enjoy the video. Before I show you the change we're going to make to it this time, I'll show you what I've done so far. When you first buy your DD hammock, coming from this point, I like two webbing straps, or one webbing strap which goes through and out the other side, which you normally wrap around the tree, and that's your adjuster. But I changed that, I took that out and I added this continuous loop. And I've got that going up to my whoppy sling. And when the trees are close enough, I can also have it going through, straight to my other tree strap, which has got the beetle buckle on. So that's just made it a lot easier for me to adjust my hammock because the original straps if you hadn't got your hammock hanging right you'd have to undo the straps at the tree either loosen or tighten or drop or lift the hammock and then tie the knots again and then come and check and keep doing that until you get it right at the same this end the continuous loop Going up to my whoppy sling, going up to my tree straps. And here is a whoppy sling which makes it a lot easier to adjust and a lot quicker. And this whoppy sling I made it with a, a whoppy hook on so I can hook the continuous loop directly to it. And then the actual shock cord or bungee cord. I've tied a knot in it there. So if I add this, I can use that end for the bug nets low. So the knot enables me to just lift it up, shorten the shock cord without having to undo anything or mess around. And that holds the bug net up just nice. Then the next thing I did was I put a little grommet where your spreader bar goes through and made a continuous ridge line. My first ridge line I made, I had it coming down to this point which meant the bog net was low, like that. 
so I changed it and put it to the other end of the continuous loop which technically made my hammock two feet longer when it came to making the, uh, the structural ridge line and I'll just connect that onto the whoppy hook now at both ends the same and it gives me one a higher bug net away from my face and two it gives me the perfect hang for me so now when I get into my hammock I know if I put my shoulder here and my feet at the opposite end so the shoulder here feet down at this end diagonally going across I get a great night's sleep in it but when inside if you see my last video you notice I was actually holding this away from my face so what I've done is I've got myself some bungee cord or shock cord and I'm going to attach it to that and peg that out so as you can see that will just pull it open so let's give that a go I haven't tried it yet but let's see if it really works So I've got hold of here is some two mil bungee or shot cord and I've just done a figure eight knot at the top here or overhand knots will do to create a loop and what I'm going to do with that is just put it through the loop on the side of the hammock and then pull the cord through Now I haven't measured this, I haven't done it before so I haven't cut the bungee to any length because I have ordered a uh, 3 mil bungee just in case this 2 mil isn't strong enough there you go so I'll looking at it I'll angle the bungee down at a 45 degree angle your shot cord and we'll give it a go inside, see if it makes any difference. But already, just looking at it there, at the 45, it's pulled this side out. But I may have to do the same on the opposite side. There we are, the shock cord holding this out. It looks positive. I do, I'll put one on the opposite side straight away save messing okay again tie another loop in the end of this piece of shock cord or bungee cord whatever you want to call it I'll put it through that loop and pull the rest of it through And I pull this one at the 45 degree angle too. One way that's going to go and put a peg in. The reason I'm using shock cord or your bungee cord, if you haven't already worked out, when I get in the hammock, this is going to move and pull. If I'd have just used a normal piece of cord, there's a good chance of actually ripping the hammock. When now, as I move around in the nights, the actual shock cord is going to move with me and keep this pulled out all of the time. So let's get in and let's see how it's made any difference. Well, as you can see, it's actually pulled the bug net and the side of the hammock right away from my face. I might even uh, with the three mil, it might even hold the pocket away if I put a phone or something in there because at the moment these pockets you can't really use.
because as soon as you put something in there, they normally fall down or you end up laying with them on your head. So this opposite side, just pulling it away. It's actually created like a small shelf. Uh, I think if you put anything there, it will, it will just slide straight down to your feet. I'm quite happy with that. Like I said, I think with the... Yeah, it's going to need a, a stronger shock cord. So when the 3 mil shock cord arrives, I'll swap it. And I'll make it about 2 metres in length. No, no, I'll leave it about 3 metres in length. Maybe longer, we'll, we'll, we'll see, because what I want to be able to do is, when I've got my tarp above, I want to be able to pull the actual bungee to the corner of the tarp, onto the uh, D-ring on the tarp, and then I won't need a peg in the ground, so that'll just hold that straight out. I'm quite, quite pleased with that, it's worked out really nice. I've got all this room. Bug nets right away from my face. Let's get into deep. Yep, yeah, that's that's like four, five, five inches away. Nice and comfortable. No way any bugs don't get through there and bite me now. I'm happy with this. So if you've enjoyed this video and you're not already a subscriber please go down below and click on the subscribe button and the like button and the notification bell next to it and click on all so you can be notified of all future videos coming up and you won't miss any then and if you are already one of my subscribers again I thank you very much so until next time get out there have some fun and take care <laughs>